Hello everybody, welcome to What About The Game. Today I'm going to be talking about Aqua TV on the Wii U eShop. We all love the idea of an aquarium. There's something so mysterious and fascinating about creatures that live in the water that makes us just want to stare at them. Looking at a fish tank is one of the most soothing and relaxing things that you can do. In reality, owning one can be a bit of a pain in the arse thanks to cleaning, daily feeding and the fact that you can never seem to keep the buggers alive for more than 5 minutes. That's where the virtual world can come in to solve all of these problems, and Aqua TV is here to fill the gap on the Wii U. I'm actually hesitant to call Aqua TV a game, mainly for the fact that there is very little involvement, but I'll keep that description for simplicity's sake. Aqua TV is a fish tank simulator for your Wii U. Upon booting the game up for the first time, you are invited to check a demonstration of the game's capabilities, displaying various randomly generated tanks for your perusal. After that brief intro, you're let loose to create your own tank. You can choose between a small, medium, large tank, or even go for a tropical reef, which functions slightly differently in the fact that it's less customizable. After choosing which tank you want, you can then customize it in various ways. First and foremost are the fish that you put in it. To give a more realistic approach, only certain fish can be put in if the size is sufficient. Now it's probably an important time to mention Aqua TV's biggest issue, a lack of content. Not only that, but also a huge chunk of it hidden behind a DLC paywall. The amount of fish in the base game is worryingly poor. Aside from fish, you can change the ornaments, the background image, and the floor colour. While a nice idea, these two are slim pickings, with most things hidden behind the three DLC packs titled Thetis, Poseidon, and Oceanus. Now granted, some of them do look nice and lovely. In fact, I'd love to be able to have a tank that looks half as gorgeous as these do, but you can't help feeling that there just isn't enough here. The big problem is that there is so little customization available with the initial purchase. So much is locked behind the three DLC packs that it's quite off-putting. I'm not saying DLC shouldn't be done, I just think they've done it in the wrong way. For a start, there needs to be enough interesting content in the main game, which this certainly doesn't have. Almost the entirety of anything interesting or cool is locked behind the DLC. Due to the starved content, interest in the game dwindles faster than it takes to download it. There's literally nothing to keep you playing the game. You've seen everything Aqua TV has and doesn't have within 5 minutes. There's nothing you can do in game to unlock any new things, no activities to keep you interested. It's just playing around for 5 minutes using the minimal options available to make something half decent looking, and then you're left to gaze at it. I suppose there's nothing wrong with that approach of build it and then admire it, but there really needed to be more of it. Even if DLC was included in the main game, I still don't think it's enough to justify the purchase. At the moment, Aqua TV only works as a sort of dynamic screensaver for your TV that you'd have on in the background while you're entertaining friends. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, there is a place for that in the world, they just needed to be more generous with it. The idea is great, the execution not so much. Ok guys, if you've enjoyed this video then be sure to like and subscribe, that will help me out. You can read the full review of Aqua TV at whataboutthegame.com and you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter if you want to. All the links are below. Bye bye.